Welcome back to the Cook Corner with Ede. Wow, 31st of January already. God has been good. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. So how has your year been so far? Huh? Yeah? How far with your aspirations? What about your actions? Do you know what I'm talking about? I'll put the link to the videos up there. But join me in the quick corner and let's put a bow on the videos for this month. See you in a bit. staying tuned I decided that since this is the last day of the first month why don't I read bit 31 from my first book you gotta make it work somehow and we'll do our very best to loop it into the things we have discussed so far So here goes Pick 31. Oh wow, I have lots of stickers here. Quick 31 says when you discover and decide to walk in your purpose, be aware that there will be people who want to put you down, pull you back you under. Don't let them distract or detract you. When you discover and decide to walk in your purpose, be aware that there will be people who want to put you down, pull you back, or push you under. Don't let them distract or detract you. This quick brings to mind Proverbs 4. Yeah, scripture in Proverbs 4. I'll pull it up and read it to you. Proverbs 4, verses 25 to 27 says, Set your gaze on the path before you with fixed purpose, looking straight ahead. Ignore life's distractions. Watch where you're going. Stick to the path of truth and the road will be safe and smooth before you. Don't allow yourself to be sidetracked even for even a moment or take a detour that leads to darkness. We're talking about having your earnest aspirations realized. We're working towards a year when your actions are rewarded. Earnest actions. So you can't afford to be distracted. Not even by excuses, which we talked about earlier this month, right? I'll put the link up there. You can't afford to be distracted. Where's your map? Yeah, my action plan. Where's your map? Are you taking those steps? Like the quick say, the minute you decide you want to work on your purpose, there will be people, sometimes well-meaning people, People who are sincere, but sincerely wrong, who try to get in your way. Mm -mm. Don't be distracted. Don't be sidetracked. I like how the scripture says, don't be sidetracked by life's distractions. It means that life in itself has distractions. Just like I said about excuses. Remember? I said that excuses abound. You don't even need to 
go too far to find an excuse. So I encourage you, refuse to be distracted. Refuse to be sidetracked. And I wish you a wonderful year. See you in a few days. God bless you.